All right. So let's start with the configuration. So we have seen what rebates are. We have created rebates in the system using the standard rebate agreement type, standard rebate conditions, BO01, BO02. We have seen how accumulation happens behind the scenes in S060 LIS table. We have seen manual accruals. We have seen partial settlements. We have seen final settlements. We have basically seen the entire rebate cycle. So let's create our own custom rebate agreement, our own custom condition type for rebates. That way you get an understanding of the config that goes on behind the scenes for rebates. So just like pricing, there are a sequence of steps that have to be done in rebates, six or seven of them. And at this point, the assumption is that you already understand pricing, pricing very well. So what are the steps in configuring rebates? If you want to have the config in your mind, take a good look at this screen. I said there are six or seven steps, right? Some you might not have to do, but mostly you'll have to do all of these steps, at least when you do it initially. So what are the steps? The first step is the rebate agreement. What is a rebate agreement? The rebate agreement controls how the rebate behaves. Meaning, if you create a rebate, what is the start date and end date default to? Does the rebate need to have any text that need to go down and uh, flow down to the actual rebate settlement transaction or a partial settlement transaction? Any kind of text that need to flow. What are the document types that should be used for partial settlement, manual accruals, final settlement, so on and so forth? The document types that these transactions in a rebate create. And there's no direct link between the rebate condition type and the rebate agreement itself, but they are linked using the condition type group, which is just a namesake that connects n number of condition types. It could be one, two, three, four, any number of rebate condition types to the rebate agreement itself. So this link between the rebate agreement and the condition types is also controlled in the rebate agreement type. Right. So this is um, basically the rebate part, one, two, and three. And this part is pricing, right? Four, five, and six, this is all pricing. Or rather, let's put it this way. Four and five, this is pricing. Pricing as in pricing condition technique. And six is account determination. 7 is a piece of config that you'd have to do for every sales org and document type. Most of the time, you would not have to create new document types or you're not going to create new sales orgs in a running project. But if you're doing it for the first time, this is another piece of config around org structure and doc type. So overall, you have to do something with the rebate agreement itself, okay, and then pricing, and then account determination, and config. Depending on the nature of your project, you can skip some of these because they might already have been there. So where is the config for rebates, the first part? It's under SPRO, Sales and Distribution. And not under basic functions like you would imagine, but it's under billing, rebate processing. And this is where you create the rebate agreement. So you go create a rebate agreement as a copy of 001 or 002 because most of the time you are going to use the standard document types for manual accrual or partial settlement or final settlement. 
These are all standard documents. You might not want to change them. But if you want to change them, you can very well change them. You can create your own copy of R4 and make it ZR4, right? And these are the valid from and valid two dates. Typically, when you create a rebate, you start from the beginning of the year, right? It's not the fiscal year, remember? It's the financial year, meaning, or rather the calendar year, I would say, you know, Jan to Feb. The condition type group is something that we have not seen yet and we'll see it. It's just a combination of multiple condition types. What are all the different condition types that can apply in this rebate agreement? So this basically is uh, a couple of condition types. Say Z001, one for customer material combination, Z002, another for uh, just the material Z003. You can have as many condition types as possible assigned to this condition type group and this condition type group is assigned to the agreement itself. Right? And the rest of the things are mostly defaults. Like what are the verification levels? This can be changed right in the rebate agreement itself. Right? And even these can be changed. The valid from one valid two dates. These can be changed. These are suggestions or proposals. Right? So let's go create these rebates. So first, go to SPRO, IMG, Sales and Distribution, Billing, Rebate Processing, Rebate Agreements, right? Define Rebate Agreement Type. So the one that we have been using so far is 001 or 002, right? So we're going to copy from that. Let's say this is the one that we've used, right? Material rebate. Copy that and create Z002. 001 is something that I've already created to create the point. So I'm going to choose 002. And we're going to call it customer material, right? And as usual, we're going to let everything remain the same for now because the proposals are going to be the same. We're going to change the condition type group, but at a later step. And we're going to let the manual accrual document types, the partial settlement document types, final settlement, correction, all of them remain the same. Okay. And we're not going to have any text determination procedure because you know what text determination procedure is, right? It's just a procedure that has a list of text types and they can be processed further into the document. So it's basically bits and pieces of text that flows from master data to transaction data and one transaction to another, right? So that's something that we're not going to worry about at this point. Just hit save. 